Well, hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. Kendall Hailstone here and my son. Theodore. And he decided to join me today, so yay, got some company. Uh, today's video is about my favorite mushroom ident my favorite mushroom identification book and then also my tips for picking a mushroom identification book that's gonna suit your needs. So uh, before we hop right into it, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thank you so much and smash the like button if you feel like that this video is of value to you. Go ahead and share it with, uh, with any one of your friends if you feel like that um, it'd be valuable to them. And also I would love uh, to hear your comments about some of the uh, mushroom foraging guidebooks and identification books that you use and I would love to get uh, some feedback from you because I don't have um, experience with a bunch of different ones but I definitely want to share today the one I've been using and I really like it. So so Theodore first of all I want to hear your opinion about what do you think about mushroom foraging in general? What, what are your thoughts? Well... Do you like it? Do you not like it? I kind of don't like it. And why, why is that? Because it's kind of like cold. Okay, what, what if it was warm? Then I would mainly like it. Okay, cool. He's, he's actually really good at finding mushrooms and I keep on telling him that when you're so low to the ground that it's easier to find them. It is true. <laughs> they always find more than me when we go out. <laughs> but in any case, so what I bring out with us when we go mushroom foraging is this little guy right here. That It's the Hip Pocket Guide to Western Mushrooms. It's called All That the Rain Promises and More. Kind of a goofy title. And if you look at the uh, the photo, it's kind of a goofy photo too. The, uh, don't really have a great shot there, but this guy is holding a trumpet and a handful of looks like chicken of the woods mushrooms and he's wearing a tuxedo. It's, it's pretty goofy, I love it though. The author's name is David Aurora and on Amazon you can actually pick this up for $14.38. I just checked today and I do have an affiliate link down below in the description where you can buy this book on Amazon with no extra cost to you and I get a small uh, percentage uh, commission off of that. So just to let you know, but first and foremost, go check your local bookstore, support a local business and see if they have this in stock. Um, this is what I take out with us, just like in my backpack. Sometimes, sometimes I'll put it in my pocket. Like I said, it's a really nice, small size, you know, nice and lightweight. It has uh, colored pictures in here. And so I definitely think that is an important key uh, feature to have in whatever kind of field guide book that you decide to pick up. Make sure that it has colored pictures for you and also a, a, a good, um, easy to follow key for identifying the mushrooms. This, uh, this key here is pretty simple to follow. Um, I actually just found out uh, just today how to uh, navigate it correctly. I had not been navigating it correctly because I was, anyways, there's arrows that point to, you know, uh, for example, you know, if the mushroom has gills on the underside of the cap, you know, then it points an arrow to the next section, you know, to further, uh, you know, whittle down the characteristics of the mushroom so you can you know, hone in on the, the specific uh, mushroom type and all that good stuff, but but in any case, so love this book. It is um, it's just super goofy, but it's also very handy and um, just has a lot of really great information in here too. So actually, you mind just hold on to that. The the book that I use at home to identify mushrooms is this big guy right here. So you can check out the uh, the difference in size here. You know, this is my little my little old guy. This is my big guy here for home. And this one's called Mushrooms Demystified, also by David Aurora. And I don't know, this, this author, he's just such a goofy dude and I love it. You know, I find myself to be kind of a, a goofy dude as well, so I really resonated with that. But I just want to read a little excerpt here before I go into some of the details about this book. So he writes um, about fungal phobia. So bring home what looks like a wild onion for dinner and no one gives, a gives it a second thought. Despite the fact that it might be a death uh, chemist you have, especially if you didn't bother to smell it. But bring home a wild mushroom for dinner and watch the faces of your friends crawl with various combinations of fear, anxiety, loathing, and distrust. Appetites are suddenly and mysteriously misplaced. Vaguely, uh, vague announcements are hurriedly mumbled as to dinner engagements elsewhere until you're finally left alone to enjoy your meal in total silence. 
And so that's, you know, just kind of a, a, an introduction to uh, the, the humor and the uh, pr kind of perspective that this author has towards towards mushrooms and I just I just think it's hilarious kind of very sarcastic and uh, anyways it just really resonated with me but this book it you know obviously has a lot more um, it's it just has a lot more content here you know my uh, my field guide book here Q theater Q lifted up you know obviously it doesn't have quite as many uh, mushroom varieties in there as this one obviously does um, but you know it has most of the you know common mushrooms that you would find out foraging. This one's more so, you know, to go a lot deeper in, uh, you know, as far as identifying mushrooms and stuff like that, you know, but going into more like spore print stuff and more microscopic detail of the mushrooms themselves. Um, the one thing of it, it does have a lot of pictures, but most of them are actually in black and white. It does have a section of colored pictures, which is phenomenal. It really just adds a lot of depth to uh, to the content here to have colored pictures here. But the vast um, majority of the book is actually in black and white. I don't know how well you can see the photos there, um, but uh, but yeah. And uh, the key is very extensive. You know, it goes into a lot of detail about the mushrooms themselves. You know, the different uh, the anatomy of mushrooms, and to really just help you with your identification process. And then obviously the key is a lot more extensive too, as far as, you know, whittling down the characteristics of the different mushrooms you're finding and, and I, you know, positively identifying um, all the mushrooms that you find just for your own personal uh, knowledge and, uh, and curiosity. So, uh, you know, there's a ton of information here of just about mushrooms, about the environment, environment mushrooms live in like I said mushrooms just in general in addition to the identification part of it you know I talked about the nutritional value of mushrooms uh, can you grow wild mushrooms um, what other animals eat mushrooms um, can people harm themselves by picking mushrooms he says no handling wild mushrooms is not dangerous and uh, but anyways so that is my my take on here mushrooms demystified uh, I actually haven't personally use any other mushroom identification books. I did look up some other some other guides before making this video, just kind of see what, what else was out there. I did see some other um, some other good good picks and I've uh, seen other people that have kind of showed me very briefly the other books that they've used. And I definitely want to pick up some other varieties and uh, see how it compares to what I currently have. Um, but this mushroom, Mushrooms Demystified book you can get for $26.95 on Amazon. And same with this, I'll leave a, a link down below uh, to Amazon, an affiliate link for you to pick it up. But like I said, first, check your... <laughs> local bookstore. Check your local bookstore first before uh, buying it on Amazon. Support local businesses, yes, yes, yes. Um, and, oh, oh, and I forgot, and it does have a handy dandy uh, uh, ruler on the back too. Just thought that was a kind of cool feature here as well. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video today. Uh, thank you, Theodore, so much for joining us. Um, hope you guys all have a beautiful day. Uh, just get outside of your comfort zones. That's where growth happens. And so, you know, I'm making a dedication to be outside my comfort zone as much as, pos as, much as possible, uh, you know, because I'm making a dedication to myself to be growing as much as possible. And so I hope you have a day full of opportunities to help and serve people and expand yourself in new and exciting ways. And I'll see you uh, tomorrow on my next video. And I actually, uh, just a sneak peek to tomorrow's video. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to be uh, explaining it's the beginning process of growing your own mushrooms. And I'm super stoked about it. I have a, I'd say a fair bit more knowledge about that than foraging mushrooms. And so, yes, I'm very, very excited about that. So I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a beautiful day. Theodore, would you like to, anything you want to say? Uh, just to say goodbye or? Any last, bye. Any last words? Only bye. Only bye, cool, fantastic. All right, farewell people, love you, bye, peace. Bye.